Hi all, welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, I am going to show how to create a landscape environment in Unreal Engine and how to render it out. So I am trying to make it in a one stage video in my first try. So please go with me here. So as of first, I am going to add. So this is a new level. So I opened a new level in the Unreal Engine, and I already have added the assets what I wanted to my create my landscape environment. So I what I added was a, la a landscape environment. So I go to the marketplace and search for landscape background. So you can find this one. Just add to the project. Since I already add to the project, I don't need to add anymore. If you want to add to it to the project, just select on that project and just press add to project. So that's how we add. Let's go back to the Unreal Engine. And the f as I start, I these are my normal steps how I do things. You can do it in your own way so this is my way so the first step i will add a direct light so just add a direct light and always make sure that you go and on back the um, yeah atmospheric sunlight and the next one is sky atmosphere and sky lights add sky atmosphere and sky light you can also add clouds if you want that's up to you so let's say uh, only got the clouds. Okay, it's good. Looks good. So the next thing I am going to do is uh, making a landscape. So you can close this one. If you don't have this, if you are using an Unreal Engine five, you possibly don't have this screen. So you can go and create in the create option on top of your screen and go and select the play sector and you can choose all these things. So the next one we are going to add is a landscape. So just go here and create a landscape create landscape okay landscape is done it's not really necessary for you to create a layer it's up to you if you want you can make it uh, if you are only having a like a drawn angle of uh, all of the mountains and all or the landscape you know, might not need to have a landscape or like a ground floor I just add it here we can it's up to you it's how you want it's up to how you want to create the thing so let's get back here and okay, let's add some landscapes here and just go back okay, so nice and this is a very basic tutorial so I will just show how to add just add and repeat the things okay so okay, okay so you can move if you are okay okay once when you loaded asset to your screen it you it will be option for you move it just make sure that you, the asset you have chosen is in a movable position it's in movable it not make it as a station one so if it's a station one i think it won't be yeah oh, it still can move okay okay i am in a learning process also so please go with me so let's put this somewhere back here looks just nice and if you want to add some water uh, so you showing water you can go and go to the landscape and make to go to sculpt and choose erosion then it will start to dig your ground just increase the brushes since we are choosing landscape it's quite big one so just dig it around okay so we dig a bit and let's Go and add some water. Let's add water. Water body leak. Okay. Yeah, we can have a really nice animation. We can push it a bit down. I okay. Make it movable. Okay. This is what I said. If it's in station, it's not. It's moving. Oh, it's moving. Sorry again. But last time it wasn't moving. So. So increase the let's put the ski increase the sky make it quite weak okay make it quite weak. Oh, 
much bigger, much, much bigger. Okay. So since you can see here anything, it's because the area over there is in like a high position. So we need to dig a bit more inside here. So we go here and this is the best size again. Yes. See? Okay, you have water here. Uh, if you just move in nice back into the bottom view, you can see. Okay, it's nice. A cool animation here if you want to think you can yeah you can choose none it's a cool animation also if you want a bit more we, we think you can use this one okay go for this one let's go for it comment quick please so next thing we are going to do is we if you want we can adjust the lighting also I think the lighting is quite good now it's you press control l you can change the sun direction you can change the lighting i think okay this is pretty good okay so let's get uh, see how it's okay okay this is good so we create a small sequence so for creating camera sequence you have to add, go into a cinematic and add a new level you need to name it let's say first shot first shot you can't have space in between what if you are if you are naming something to a new level you can have a space they won't allow you to have a space so just keep it together okay so since you add the new level sequence the sequencer will come up on, to, on top of here then you can add the camera to your system so yeah it's pretty much close it's a close-up view because it's in a focal length of 35 mm so you can adjust the okay you just select here or you can change the camera if you want this is a i normally choose a 16.9 dslr it's still wide angle but i need much more wider so i go here and i change the focal length to 16 16 is pretty much wider okay or maybe 24 it's nice because since it's a landscape it's cool to have a bigger wider angle and you can go and see whether the focus is on right so, so if you press this one okay so this is the focus area of your camera so if you bring forward this is the of the focus area so the current focus area is around here if you unselect this one this will be invisible if you want to clearly see where is the focus angle i suggest you to add this one and after the focus is okay you can just uh, in, uh, disable this one okay the, let's say the focus is good okay so let's make a video a small sequence here so let's see uh, okay let's start from here Okay, let me go to a bit. Okay, this is okay. We are okay. This is nice. Let's go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. let's see how so if you want to add the sequence a start a sequence you make sure this one is on the start position and you press the select the transform position and after selecting this one you roll over you cursor to all the way to your end slide and just press transform again oh no 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 don't press transform again no no not yet okay so delete this one so you once you press transform here and you wait here and you make the moves on your landscape or environment and home how you want to do so let's say i move a small symbol very layer symbol shoulder so i try like this one and i okay this is how i want to that, that so that is the first position is the one which i want to start my video and this is how i want to end my video so let's say i stop here 
and I press transform so this is done so once you press the space for you can see the visuals here uh, it's nice nice view if you want to make it much more linear you just select the whole thing because at the end of the clip I I rotated the, the camera angle a bit so currently it's okay very good very nice but sometimes it's, it's not in a right proposition so if you want to make it much linear you can go select here and just press linear and you can see the round thing it's now in a triangle way so it's currently linear so it's the movement of the camera is like uh, how to say it's much smoother and it's like all the time it's in a constant movement not sometime it's much more speeder and something like that so it's very constant and it's just fine so okay so we have our visual here and let's go save this one render this one out so to render this one i already added a movie render queue if you don't have this one you might need to add this one from your plugin so if you don't have this one you go here and go at add-ins just search for movie render movie render queue you should make this make sure this one is enabled there is either other that one other one also you can render but i much much more prefer this one if this is not enabling your one if you are enabling this one you might need to restart your uh, unreal engine so you make sure you select this one okay so i i'm going to select this one so movie render queue and just press the movie button it will ask where i need to save this one so can go here and change the specs so i want to save it in my rendered video unreal engine say it's taking some time let's say i create a new one let's see let's see okay go mountain okay create a new one tutorial mountains okay let oh sorry 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 <laughs> okay i need to config here that one i just really go the go to the path and go to my folder one so let's say though this is the way you want you want to change the saving folder so let's say on the video so i do it again mountains let's create new one okay already on the old one is here okay so i select this one and if you want you can change your spec also it, it depends on it you can choose 4k it's up to you okay it's 24 frame per second it's all good all good all good and just accept so your path has already been changed and you just press render local oh no registration you have one save okay it's okay it's my previous one just doesn't matter that's, uh, yeah. this must have received at least once before entering. is this party this okay yeah. let me save this one okay need to save the map that's right so before you render out you make sure you save and it's in yeah it's in the new one and this render out okay this might take some time so let's get back after rendering it out and i will show you how and i will escort it to the export this one to my uh, premiere pro and edit a bit and show you my final output so yeah this is a really basic one it's super cool it's very nice to have this one the unreal engine creating the environments and the engine is very nice so if you like my video please do share like and subscribe and uh, watch out for my next video Today I tried something else, I tried to make a studio like a studio environment to take photos. I quite well, I think I ended up in, this is just my basic try so I made this one and I am planning to making or taking some more photos in the Unreal Engine like create an environment and say, take some nice photos. So hopefully it will be okay and i can upload it to my youtube channel also so please please keep up with me and please subscribe to my channel so that's all thank you guys thanks for uh bearing me till this time okay thank you bye